These are the wildest what-if theories I've ever heard. The last one will turn your brain upside down. What if when we die, the light at the end of the tunnel is a light to a hospital room? We are born, and the reason we come crying out is because we remember we died and lost everything in our past life. What if we used to be able to make wishes, but someone wished we could, I said we find them and junk them. What if the world actually ended in 2012 as many people thought, and everything since that year has been a dream? Well, wake me up, I'm tired of bills. What if Mr. Krebs is Pearl Sugar Daddy, which is why she's always calling him daddy and asking him for money? That makes a lot of sense. What if our entire universe is just in a tiny glass jar, placed neatly on a shelf in an alien child's room as science project? Or the Big Bang in our universe can just be one big fart that some creature just let out and time is different in their world. But right now, it seems like it's been billions of years, but a narrow world that's been like two seconds. What if you're the only human on Earth and the rest of the population you see is just your imagination playing tricks on you? I'm pretty sure a baby comes out crying because it's cold for the first time being in the world, but hey, I could be wrong. And the last one I definitely have thought about a few times in my life, but at the same time, there's no way I'm sitting here and imagining all these people in my life and all these people around me, you know what I'm saying? Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back for another video. Real quick, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you liking this content in this video, make sure you show your boy here some love and just smash that like button. And with all of that being said, let's not waste any more time and get right back into it. Oh my god, oh my god. No, not not this little alien girl again. Oh, what in the hell? Hey, excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. that thing resident evil i got a good kick out of all of those even though they were all fake i mean sitting there like what in the holy cgi is happening here most humans don't know this people do not know that they emit energy and because of this they attract entities towards their life human can either emit good or negative energy and this negative energy can attract demons here are things that attract demons Sin attract demons, fear attract demons, bitterness, anger. Hatred attract demons. Don't talk about the people you dislike. Because if you are thinking about them and the things they did to you, you will be attracting negative force. So this guy is trying to tell us that everything that's negative is demonic. Demonic possessions, demonic entities, demonic everything. Watch out for the demons out there. These are four movies that expose the truth about reality. They always put the truth in plain sight and especially movies. So watch to the very end to see which movie has the most truth in it. For number one, we got They Live. This movie is about a man that was able to put on shades and see life for what it truly was. This also represents waking up and seeing the world for what it actually is. Now I ain't gonna lie, this shit is true but scary at the same time. Leave a like on this Big video facts. if you already feel like you're wearing these glasses. And you know I had to include The Matrix. This movie reveals that most people are living in a false reality full of lies and control. And everybody can either wake up to the truth or stay asleep. But if you decide to wake up, you'll see how corrupt the world truly is. And most people don't even know. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. This movie also talks about being the chosen one because all the chosen ones are different and have special gifts. Comment chosen if you feel like you're the chosen one. Next y'all, we got Avatar. First, it reveals the concept of traveling to different worlds and taking the form of an avatar. And you do the exact same thing every time you dream. And if you look in the mirror, you are your own avatar that you customize every single day. Now, the director of this movie said that your imagination creates reality. So the world that he created was an example of how powerful your imagination is. And since he brought it to reality, that proves that you can do the same thing. And last but not least y'all, we got Doctor Strange. This movie shares the importance of going within yourself to unlock your full potential and separating from your ego was the key to unlocking this potential but not everybody believes that it's there there is no such thing as spirit but once you open your mind and tap in with yourself you realize how powerful you truly are and that's when you become aware to all the possibilities life has to offer comment your favorite movie down below and follow me for more i pretty much agree with this whole list i mean there's a few bangers that this guy left out that i personally would have included myself but if you guys haven't seen any of these movies you're really slacking go check them out trust me you guys you won't regret it so people all across the world have been reporting they're doing strange things. 
These are there gathered around the Statue of Liberty. That is not normal. That is not real. This is another herd of deer that's gathered on top of Mount Rushmore. Yeah, th this is strange. Look, and then look at his phone. They're recording the same thing. Y'all see these deer? And I kind of find it strange that we starting to see these deer do strange things right after this movie dropped. And them deer did not look like deer. I only got two logical options. Number one is CGI. Or number two, if they are actually recording what they recording, it got to be a hologram game. I'm just saying, gang, look at this deer versus this deer. Look kind of AI generated to me. If you guys can't tell that these are fake, then you might want to go get your vision checked, honestly, because like these are clearly CGI. What are you doing? I can't believe he's still able to do half of this stuff at his age. I mean, isn't Gene Simmons like 74 now? And yo, I thought Kiss was doing their retirement show back in like the 80s. What is really going on? Yo no sabe, ay Dios mío, que no se muera nadie. Ay señor, ¿y qué es esto? Wow. You know, you guys, I believe it was reported that this building is like almost 150 years old or something like that, but I definitely smell a fat lawsuit coming out of this one. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need Eric's help for this. Uh, I'm not gonna the do this by that? myself. Is this real or fake? You let me know. Okay, you guys, so uh, this is the door that moves on its own, and that's the chair that moves on its own. And uh, I'm just tired, you know, there's absolutely I know you guys seen that little girl in the back. Time. I, I've not seen anything. That was creepy. Uh, it's 9.46. And usually everything happens by this time, but nothing's going on. There was way more people than what's usually here today, so I kind of guess maybe that's what it is, and I'm just going to call it a day. Uh, I'll start again tomorrow, maybe, and we'll see what happens. Seemed like he was kind of waiting for that door to close. Okay, so... uh I'm the only one here right now, and the door just closed on its own. Uh, Okay, so I'm here by myself. All of these green lights means that there's no motion, right? Look in this room. What in the world is that? That is insane. I have never seen something like this. This is directly beside me in the next room. Did you see that? It disappeared. What in the world? 
Let's do it. I don't know if you guys caught that or not, that little demon looking girl. But what the heck was that screaming at the beginning though? Never really explained that. Yeah, it's obvious this one was scripted. Oh no, that's creepy as hell. This person was smart for walking backwards. I would probably have done the same thing, except I would have walked a lot faster than that. Airbread is now at the center of a second wrongful death lawsuit for its charged what? lemonade. I'm Chandler Morgan. I'm John Bachman. The family of a Jacksonville man is suing the popular restaurant chain after they say Panera's charged lemonade drink contributed to his death. Mm -hmm. Action News Jax investigates wow. told you back in October when a 21-year-old student died after drinking the same drink. Now, Action so News Jax and Megan Moriarty spoke exclusively with the local victim's caretaker. 46-year-old Dennis Brown was taking trips to Panera regularly, and two weeks before his death, he began ordering their charged lemonade. In those two weeks, based on his habits, he likely had at least 18 Panera charged lemonade drinks, a drink he thought was healthy, but now a new well, lawsuit I mean, alleges it contributed to his death. He was the friendly face at your grocery store checkout. I've never met anybody like him. For nearly 17 years, Dennis Brown bagged families' groceries at Publix. After the first death, it's crazy how they can continue to sell it, honestly. That's what baffles me. You gotta be careful with caffeine out here, you guys. That stuff is no joke. Oh man, we're in this stupid ass, like... A tapestry woven into every shape and pattern imaginable. Yeah, my eyeballs are probably just bust out of the sockets. Could you guys imagine watching a horror flick in this thing? Now that would probably be wild. Oh, Jesus Christ. 12-foot gator attacks fishermen. Oh, no. Holy shit. Well, yeah, that puts an end to my tarpon fishing. Wow. Get back. He said, okay, try me, buddy. Oh my God. Where'd it go? Hey. There it goes. Hey, buddy. She more than likely has a nest somewhere nearby where this guy's fishing. Just a mama gator trying to protect her baby gators. But hey, I'm glad this man was able to get up fast enough, that's for sure. What in the hell is going on here? This one definitely gave me flashbacks from that movie A Day After Tomorrow. Mother Nature can really be brutal sometimes. He just picks it up like, Hurry. Andre the Giant, that damn thing. This man on Adderall, look at his eyeballs. Like buzzing out. <laughs> Hey, Rab Freddie Mercury's about to pull his arm out. 
اقرا عليه اقول لك اقرا عليه Yeah, I would say this is some superb acting from the Arab Freddie Mercury over here. But somebody was probably just around the corner where the camera couldn't see jumping on that wood. But yeah, this was a little funny to me, not really scary. It's like when people say Illuminati, say their names. Right. <laughs> <laughs> say the name. Right. It was one time. It was one time where Esso was on here, and he said, "Yo, it's these many families." I, I wanted to jump into the screen and be like, "No, Esso, it's a lot of families." I grew up in Delaware. The Duponts run Wilmington. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not we, Dupont Hospital. Is it? We know the name. Mm -hmm. Say the name, because what it does when you when you when you say these things, it makes a boogeyman for our children. Right. They can't fight. The, the Illuminati. Or the imaginary they, days. It's, it's, no, no, but you, you, you allow them. We all know why these guys can't actually say any names. They would make themselves a prime target. Uh. So check this video out, y'all. Check this video out, y'all. A whale was giving birth to a baby in the water, and this attracted sharks due to the blood, the smell of blood. And dolphins appeared out of nowhere and formed a circle around the whale and the baby to protect them. Look at that, y'all. Look at the whale. Look at the whale. Look at that. To protect the whale. This is why they want y'all to stay away from dolphins. Look at this. Look at how beautiful this is, man. Wow. And they escort them off. This is beautiful. Beautiful. And to be able to capture this, thank you to the creditor for this. But yeah, man, this is why they want y'all to stay. That's why they want dolphins to stay away from y'all. They want dolphins to stay away from us. We are connected to dolphins. Dolphins are higher birds of us. That's, hmm. They speak to leopards. Look at this, y'all. This is beautiful, man. Share this video. Let's get this out there. There's countless stories of dolphins saving fishermen and sailors just by bringing them back to shore. And hey, I believe it too, because dolphins are like the mob of the sea. This has to be the scariest paranormal video I have ever seen on TikTok. And honestly, maybe ever seen in my whole line of paranormal work. If this guy's videos are real, then he is going through the most terrifying poltergeist activity ever. And I will say viewer discretion is advised. Days like today are no fun. No fun at all. Is it real? Yeah. This is on repeat. This happens over and over. And then the knocking happens. The knocking. There it is. And it just goes and goes until you talk to stop. Can you stop, please? I mean, it's just right there. That's new. Okay. Whatever you are, you gotta go. And that's... Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Goodbye. It is right there this time. Hello? Hey, no. No, 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 no. No, stay there. Hey. Dude, it's okay. It's okay. Go lie down. It's okay. Lie down. Stay. I've been doing this all morning, and I don't have time for this today. It's, stop. Hey, buddy. We, I don't, I got too much going on. You got to cut it out. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm just going to set it up. Here the towels. And we'll just let the phone roll. I am 
Christ said, you got to go, or you got to go downstairs, or something, wherever you're going to go, you got to go. Calm down. He's okay. Please, not today. I mean, that crying sounded sincere, but hey. This guy comes off as like a visual effects type of dude. I bet my whole paycheck that this one's fake, but if it is real, I'd be packing my stuff up and moving right away. All right, that's going to be a wrap for this video, my good people. But if you enjoyed this content, make sure you show me some love and just smash that like button. And if this was your first time seeing one of my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, this has been a good one, but I'll see you guys next time.